In this session, we'll look at how you can supercharge your Feast Feature Store with AstroDB. Hi, I'm Greg Stacknick, and I'm a product manager at Datastax. Before we get into the actual plugin, um, let's figure out what is Feast. Feast is an open source feature store for machine learning. Feast provides a Python SDK that makes it easy to get started quickly without having to learn a domain specific language. This makes integration with other ML tools pretty seamless. Loading new libraries, configuration, and feature creation is all done through Python. Feature stores act as a central hub for feature data and metadata across an ML project's lifecycle. There are five main components of a modern feature store. Transformation, storage, serving, monitoring, and feature registry. Today we will focus on the storage component. Feature stores typically contain both an online and offline storage layer to support the requirements of different feature serving systems. Offline storage layers are typically used to store months or years worth of feature data for training purposes. Online storage typically, on the other hand, only stores the latest feature values for each entity, essentially modeling the current state of the world. Online stores are usually eventually consistent and are usually implemented with key value stores like Apache Cassandra. Datastax Astra is our database as a service offering built on open source Apache Cassandra and available for multiple deployment um, options, including AWS, Azure, or GCP. Astra eliminates the overhead of installing, operating, and scaling Cassandra. For developers, Astra provides a completely compatible experience with open source Cassandra tools and provides an in-browser CQL shell and multiple endpoints, including REST, GraphQL, Document, and gRPC, which enable more developers to create and interact with data as a service layers. Developers can try Astra for free. So what is this plugin? So there is a new Feast Cassandra plugin, which enables the usage of AstraDB or any Cassandra cluster really as the online feature store for Feast. When using AstroDB in particular, Feast users can run a model in production that relies on AstroDB's resilient architecture for providing the data on which predictions are evaluated. This plugin at its core implements the online store abstraction, which means we've added CRUD operations such as update, teardown, online write batch, online read, and others. So, Without further ado, let's check out a demo to see how we can integrate Feast with AstraDB. So to get started, I'm going to log in to astra.datastacks.com with my credentials. Once I sign in, I should be dropped into a dashboard that shows my databases, any streams that I've set up, sample apps, and other things. Um, so to get started, we're going to create a database. So we need to provide a couple of pieces of information in order to get started with this database. Uh, one, we need to provide a name. So I'll give it a name, call it Feast Demo. I need to provide a key space name. So I'll call it Feast Key Space. And then I need to decide where this thing is going. So uh, maybe we'll put it in US East, Ohio. And then we'll just hit Create Database. So while we wait for this database to provision, I'm actually going to use a different database that I've already set up, also called Feast Demo. Before we can start to work on um, our local development and actually install the plugin, we need to, actually, we need to um, set up our tokens and get a secure connect bundle. The way we do that is from our organization settings. So here I'll go to token management, I'll select a role, uh, database administrator, and then generate the token. The key pieces of information that I need um, for the plugin are my client ID and my secret. Also need to set up a secure connect bundle, which will take care of credentials, um, certificates, and things like that. So I'll go into my uh, feast dashboard, click connect, and then select a driver. In this case, because Feast is based on Python, we're going to download the Python bundle. And here we can download Secure Connect Bundle. So we'll need to have that locally when we're configuring the plugin. So now locally, let's install Feast. So we're going to use uh, our package installer to install both Feast 
and the Feast Cassandra plugin. You can see um, I've already got it installed, but even if you're installing it for the first time, it goes very quickly. The next step is to set up our project. With Feast, you have um, some project templates that can get you started quickly with some of the basic boilerplate configuration files. Um, so to do that, just say Feast init and give the project a name. So I'll call it um, Astra Feature Repo. Now, um, I've already created this, I've already configured it, um, so I'm not going to overwrite this directory, but setting up this directory will then, uh, let's take a look at the contents. What we get is a feature store. This is our configuration file. Um, and then we get a couple of um, starter application files, uh, an example script to um, create some types, uh, a generate script to do um, some uh, loading of data, and then uh, a query, which is uh, fetching. Let's take a look at the code in detail. So we start with the feature store. So the feature store as part of the boilerplate includes the project name, the registry, and the provider. We'll need to override the online store to provide the type, which in this case is going to be um, our Feast Cassandra online store, and we give it a name. Our secure bundle pass, so that's the thing that we downloaded from the Astra UI. And then our username and password, which we generated from the organization token settings. And lastly, we specify the, the key space, in this case, Feast KS. Also included in this um, starter project is um, an example uh, example file that will set up a driver um, type with um, some hourly stats, um, some activity, things like that. Once we have those types created, then we'll generate um, some uh, load on the uh, model. We'll synchronize it, and then we'll run a query to make to validate that um, the data actually persisted. Let, let's try this. So the first thing we're going to do is um, apply our uh, settings. So what this should do is it will communicate based on our configuration settings with our Astra database at our feast key, uh, key space. And we can see here it did um, successfully perform the handshake. So we are configured locally with AstraDB as our store. Next up, we're going to um, generate some training data. Um, and we'll do that with the uh, generate Python file. Okay, so we see here that um, we were able to create um, some data um, from this uh, generation script. And that has gone into um, our, our local uh, feature store. So now that we have our local feature store populated, we need to materialize that information and synchronize it over to the cloud. So we'll do that with a, a materialize incremental command. And we'll use the current timestamp. OK, so it looks like we were able to successfully materialize one of these feature views into the driver hourly stats. Now, lastly, let's just run a quick query. So we'll run a query locally um, using that um, fetch online script and see if we actually have data. Great. So it looks like we were able to successfully um, query uh, based on um, the script that we defined in fetchonline.py. And um, so, yeah, it looks like we were able to very quickly install Feast install the Feast plugin, configure it to connect to our Astra database. We did uh, so we created some training data, we synchronized it, and then we did a query. But just to make sure everything is actually working, let's go check also on the cloud and confirm that that data is really in there. So back in um, Astra, I'm going to go into my Feast demo table or Feast Demo database, I should say, and select the CQL console. The, so the CQL console provides an integrated environment to run CQL commands directly from within the Astra UI. OK, so first let's just take a look at what tables are available in this database. So we'll say um, describe tables. 
and this shows us all of the tables. Um, and the one we're really interested in is this key space that we created, Feast Key Space. And we see that the um, Astro Feature Repo driver is already in there. So at least we know that something's synchronized. But now let's check to make sure the data is there as well. So we'll say um, select star from our key space dot our table name. And look at that, we have data. What do we do in this demo? Well, we started off by creating an Astro Serverless database. We then installed Feast and the Feast Cassandra plugin. We configured Feast to use AstroDB Keystore as our feature repository that generated some training data, synchronized the local data with the online store, which in this case is Astra, and then did a couple of queries to verify that the data actually was propagated to the cloud. To learn more about Astra integrations, check out Awesome Astra. Awesome Astra is our developer portal, which provides tips and tutorials to get up and running quickly, as well as plugins and sample code for integrations with languages, tools, and frameworks like Feast. Check out awesomeastra.github.io for more information. And as always, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to get notifications for all of our future upcoming workshops.